Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. We all need to buy replacement tires occasionally for our cars. So in today's episode, we will be talking about how to choose the right tire for your EV. Yeah, this is a, an important topic. Yeah. You know, one of the things that we'll spend the most on in terms of car maintenance with an EV is on the tires because so few other things require maintenance. In a minute, we'll share a story that illustrates the importance of tires. So the first consideration is the rolling resistance of the tire itself. Yeah, some tires are designed for efficiency to have a low rolling resistance. And so you want to look for that as uh, one of the considerations. Uh, the tread pattern and the materials used to build the tire are what determine the uh, rolling resistance. Some of the research on this suggests this may not be as important as it's intended to be, but this is certainly a consideration. The second consideration is the road noise that the tire actually makes. Yeah, EVs are quiet. And so the road yeah. noise you get from just rolling down the freeway uh, becomes more important because you don't have a big engine, you know, making noise and gears and all of that. So the road noise becomes a little bit more important. And in a Chevy Bolt, like we drive, it's even more important. The Chevy Bolt is an affordable EV and it's not super well insulated like a high-end EV might be. And so it, it's a double consideration there if that's important to you, but certainly a consideration in an EV. The third consideration is the strength of the tire itself because EVs are heavy. Yeah, I don't want to make too much of this, but EVs weigh about 20% more than comparable vice cars, that is vehicles with internal combustion engines. And so it's worth at least looking at the carrying capacity of the tire, make sure that it's capable of holding and you know supporting the kind of weight that you have in your EV. The fourth consideration, depending on where you live, you might want to consider all season tires. Yeah, you know, we lived in Utah for a lot of years and in the, in, back in the 90s, we would typically get snow tires for our cars in the winter. So uh, all season yeah. tires weren't important in that scenario, but as climate change softened the winters in Utah, we shifted to all season tires because there just weren't that many snow days uh, that we had to worry about uh, that. And we didn't go up to the ski resorts as often as maybe we should have. <laughs> well, some of that. But it, now that we live in Florida, we really don't yeah. need to worry about uh, snow. And so it isn't necessarily as big a consideration yeah. for us, but you need to make sure you factor that in to your consideration. Before we consider the fifth consideration, Devin's going to share the story of the, tire, the replacement tires that we bought for our Chevy Bolt. Yeah, this was really an interesting experience, replacing the tires for the first time. Uh, this is just a couple of years ago, and uh, we got the new set of tires. And uh, the Chevy Bolt doesn't come standard with a spare tire. And so we wanted to get tires that had some, you know, run flat kinds of features that would be wouldn't require as I as we drove around rural Utah especially yeah. that we would need to pay an expensive tow or something yeah. in in a flat tire situation and, and so we ended up with tires that were uh, a little bit more expensive and a little bit heavier but we thought that was justified without having the spare tire well on my first trip with the new tires we discovered we'd lost about 10 percent yeah. of our range with these fancy new tires so we took advantage of the tire company's offer to replace the tires for free in the first 30 days. So we went right back uh, and and yeah, got uh, got different tires. Yeah, that was a quite a learning experience for us. So now we know better. Yeah. The fifth consideration is the weight of the tire itself. Yeah. So that re that was the key. The new tires that we the second set of yeah. new tires that we got were tires that weighed about 10% less. That's about two pounds a tire less. Now, eight pounds in the car really doesn't, you couldn't measure the impact on mileage if that were in your trunk. But on your wheels, it actually matters meaningfully because the, tire, the car has to push that tire every single rotation. So that extra two pounds, every rotation of the tire actually makes a meaningful difference. Now, 
I can't say that it's a 10% difference in every car, every two pounds. There are so many things going into this, like the rolling resistance, weather, other factors. But uh, it does seem to me that weight of the tire is, an, uh, is in and of itself an important consideration. The sixth consideration is possibly ordering your tires online. One of the things that we take away from our experience is that uh, the folks at the tire stores are not experts in the yeah. considerations for EV tires, right? That's just not part of their planning, preparation, training experience. Now, increasingly that will be the case. And in a few years, this argument goes out the window entirely as, as they become adept at this. But, but even as EVs are becoming more common, Keep in mind that uh, it takes four or five years after a car is new before it needs a new set of tires, typically. So we're still not at a point where a typical EV, a typical tire store is really expert at this. So do your own yeah. research online and really get comfortable with what the issues are, the tires that are available for your car and what might be the right solution for you based on your online research. And then you can order the tire online and take it to your yeah. local tire shop to have it installed. Sounds a lot easier to me. Yeah. Have it delivered to your home. The Car Talk guys made a list of common EVs and the tires that work for that, for those EVs. Yeah, so we'll share a link to uh, this article that uh, on the, the Car Talk guys that uh, uh, are on NPR, I think, and uh, they've got great insights uh, and they put together a list of popular EVs and some good tires that work for EVs in those, uh, for each of those. And so they, they actually provided three different recommendations uh, for consideration uh, for the Chevy Bolt. The first was the Bridgestone Taranza Quiet Track. The second was the Michelin Cross Climate 2. And the third was the Continental Extreme Contact DWS 06 Plus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So we pick the Continental Extreme Contact for our car. Yeah, we think that's probably the best. It's a little cheaper than the other two, which isn't a big consideration, but it is the lightest weight. Now, mm -hmm. I may be overemphasizing the weight of the tire, and it's important to point out that that tire isn't specifically designed as a low rolling resistance or as a quiet tire. So it, it's lacking two features that the others have, but the others are heavier tires mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that may offset. So, so without having experimented with these tires, uh, we're kind of saying, hmm, let's go with that Continental Extreme yeah. Contact tire. As we have found out, that's a fairly pricey tire to buy, but we found a cheaper one on Amazon. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that you should buy the cheaper tire, but I was reassured by a couple of things that this is at least worth considering. It, it, it weighs about the same, apparently, right? Different sources. I, I worry a little bit when we're comparing different sources for the same information, but apparently it weighs just a little bit more than the Continental tire. And uh, it's called the Milestar MS932 <laughs> Sport all-season radial mm -hmm. tire. And it weighs just a, a little bit more, a fraction of a pound more per tire than the Continental tire. But right now it's 45% cheaper than that Continental tire. Wow. And so less than half the price of the other two tires uh, that, that uh, the Car Talk guys recommended. That's, that's a big savings. Yeah. And there's 7,000 plus ratings wow. and it has an average rating of 4.6 stars on Amazon. So I wouldn't say not to consider that cheaper tire. It looks like a legit option. Yeah. We'd love to have you share your EV tire choices in the comments or by replying to the newsletter. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. When we heard our rigging wouldn't be delivered until Christmas of 2023, we decided to see what we could tow with our Chevy Bolt. Launching our solar electric trailer journey. We have a lot to learn and we're sharing what we discover along the way. We've added solar panels to our A-Liner Scout pop-up trailer. Preparing us for doing the same on a bigger trailer when the Rivian arrives. Join us by subscribing now.